Herbert's Dune is one of the great classics of the sci-fi genre. So why is it that no one can produce a decent film or game about it? Location. We are on Arrakis, otherwise known as Dune, the planet of sand. This is the only known source in the entire universe of the essential spice. The effort is based on the recent TV miniseries rather than the book or the 1984 David Lynch movie, but it still fails to include the image of any of the actors. You play Paul Atreides, battling to defeat the evil schemes of the Baron Harkonnen while making alliances with the desert Fremen, dodging the giant sandworms and struggling to avenge the destruction of your family. Raban, you must recapture Dune. Its surrender has been very costly to us. Our investment must pay dividends. The Fremen are more than just a scattered bunch of natives. Our soldiers report that they are fearsome fighters. Show yourself! The idea is to use a mixture of stealth, oh. cunning and all-out violence to outmaneuver your opponents. But the whole thing falls far short of that ideal. For a start, the biggest problem isn't the Harkonnens or the worms, but the camera. You can choose to control it yourself using the right analog stick, or let the AI look after it for you. But neither method works at all well, often leaving you fighting creatures off the screen or desperately trying to evade the worms as you run into the camera shot. The graphics don't help. The worms look impressive, but the jerky animations and atrocious lip syncs are a sight that everyone on Dune is eating the wrong kind of spice. Transport until we get to the ambush point. Has Baron explained how the SOS jammer works? It jams the harvester's communication network and sends a false SOS to the carryall. The whole thing falls short of what it could have been. Dune is a great license, but even hardcore fans will find this offering leaves a bad taste in their mouths. There are plenty of better action games available on the PS2.